Meanwhile, Australia is attempting to scale up its involvement with Southeast Asia in the face of mounting trade and geopolitical uncertainty and China's weakening economy. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese will use a speech to leaders attending the Association of Southeast Asian Nations meeting on Wednesday to present an economic plan that calls for a significant reform of Australian business, trade and education links with the region. The document says Australia's trade and investment growth with the region have not kept pace with Southeast East Asia's economic growth over the past 20 years. Southeast Asia's continued economic success is critical for Australia's prosperity and security. According to a Bloomberg report, a government official said that Australia's commerce with Southeast Asia was very underweight, despite the region's proximity. The source also added that despite rising interest from rivals like China, investment has stagnated in the recent years. The, the Southeast Asia economic strategy proposes, among other things, a national strategy to capitalize on the region's economic development, loosening of limitations on foreign investment and increase Australian spending on infrastructure. With the election of Albanese and his centre-left Labour Party in May of 2022, Australia's foreign policy has been rebalanced away from a close alignment with the United States. Meanwhile, Canberra is attempting to diversify away from China's as a result of trade penalties placed on Australian exports by Beijing in 2020. More than $81 billion were exchanged between Australia and ASEAN nations in 2021, making the group a sizable export market for Australia. However, the Australian Labour government commissioned the economic plan because it sees Southeast Asia as an underutilised economic partner.